While some of the amazing motorcycles that SYM, a Taiwan-based motorcycle manufacturing company, has not reached our market yet, here comes another beast that they come up with. This is said to be more than ready to compete with our mainstream brands of maxi scooters here in our country. This unit has actually been around for quite some time now and just this year, SYM decided to update the looks and some of the features of the motorcycle to make it tougher and smarter. This time around, it amazingly comes with dual ABS channels and a traction control system. Welcome to the Motor Thread channel, bringing you the latest releases, overviews and updates of motorcycles around the globe. Introducing, the new SYM Joymax Z Plus 300 motorcycle. When it comes to its physical attributes and dimension, the motorcycle kind of follows the pattern of the mainstream maxi scooters that we know here on the country, minus the handlebar, which still kind of gets the SYM look of naked and angular handlebars, but with this maxi scooter, you'll get a covered handlebar this time. The wide under seat storage of the motorcycle promises a convenient fit for two full face helmets. You will also get a modernized cluster of instruments that has been a well blend of analog and digital display, that almost kind of looks like a dashboard of a four wheel vehicle. You will also get two frontal pockets wherein you will also find the quick charging USB 3.0 socket in one of those. The Joymax Z Plus also now gets a full LED lighting system, from its headlight, to the tail light, and down to the turn signal lights. This is powered by a 278cc, four-stroke, single-cylinder, liquid-cooled, electronically fuel-injected, Euro 5 certified, and a CVT automatic transmission engine. This is expected to yield an output power of 25 horsepower at 7,500 rpm and a 26.2 newton meter of torque at 6,750 rpm. The starting system of the motorcycle is electric and no kickstarter. The Joymax Z Plus gets the conventional telescopic fork on the front, while the rear is utilizing a dual shock absorber. The front tire measures 120 by 70 on a 14 inch wheel while the rear is 140 by 60 on a 13 inch wheel. With that, this motorcycle would promise a very stable cornering because of its wider tires. The front wheel is utilizing a 260mm disc with dual piston caliper while the rear is a 240mm disc with single piston caliper. And just to reiterate, this has now been equipped with a Bosch brand's pair of ABS or otherwise known as anti-lock braking system. The combination of ABS and traction control system that this motorcycle has been equipped with makes this motorcycle more reliable and dependable on different road conditions. As to its dimension, the motorcycle seat height is only 747 mm while weighing only 185 kg. With that, this indeed promises wide accessibility, even to people with average to considerably shorter heights. Other features worth mentioning with are the adjustable windshield, a hazard control function, and an adjustable waist rest for a more comfortable and relaxed riding position. The motorcycle also comes with the 125cc and 250cc version, but both do not get the ABS and traction control system, but rather just the CBS or combined braking system. But the rest of the features mentioned here are present to the lower CC versions. The price of the motorcycle, based from its current selling price in the markets where it is available, is playing around 228,000 pesos or 4,000 US dollars, which is already very competitive price, knowing that the mainstream maxi scooters that we know here in the country within its category is priced near the 250,000 pesos mark. What do you think of the motorcycle? The next review video we have, the one you see on the screen, is the latest 125cc motorcycle from Yamaha, that promises great off-roading and adventure. You may click it to watch next.